this is a message to every news outlet in the United States of America. I woke up this morning to a series of articles all in support of some guy named Jeff Green who wrote this scathing article about why he is leaving the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Now, first of all, I just want to say that I'm all for the freedom to choose. And if he wants to make that choice, I respect that. And I would want him to know that the door is always open should he decide to return into the fold. We would welcome him with open arms, I'm sure. Now, nowhere did I see an article that was truly unbiased. They were all almost against the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. None of them covered all of the good that this organization is doing worldwide. It was as if there was a whole league of media outlets divisively aimed at my belief system. Well, I took that personal. And so I'd like to set the record straight. Number one, we are not the Mormon church. We are the church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. Number two, Jeff talks about women's rights. The Relief Society is an independent organization within our church. It is the oldest and largest women-led organization in history. Our support of women's rights and women's voting dates back to the era of Brigham Young. Women in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, living in Utah, enjoyed the right to vote 70 years before the rest of the United States of America. Number three, he disparages the church's use of funds towards helping others. I would like news outlets to mention that there are currently 3,600 humanitarian efforts worldwide in over 160 different countries. Also, that the church does immense things. I mean, what I've talked about is just the tip of the iceberg. There are millions of dollars spent annually to help people around the world. Not to mention all that the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints does to help its members and to help individuals and families make better choices, overcome addictions, and serve others. Truly, the blessings of living the restored gospel of Jesus Christ are not just secular. They expand to every aspect of existence. Number four, he disparages the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and what they ha how they have dealt with the LGBT community. And I would invite anyone watching this video to look at LDS.org and see the different articles, videos, and resources devoted to this very topic. To quote the website, quote, kindness, inclusion, and respect for all of God's children, close quote. So if you are a member of the media and you truly want to be unbiased in the way you report this story, I would invite you to talk to me someone who's actually been to church in the last 10 years, who really knows what's going on inside this organization. I'm here and I'm ready to talk. Merry Christmas.